it's been many Sundays since there's been a Sega Sunday on this channel, but today is your lucky day. I decided to come out of semi-retirement to uh, try out this game, Beyond Oasis. This game starts out with a pretty cool cutscene. For a Genesis game, anyway. The graphics weren't too bad. I was impressed thoroughly when I was a youngster, which was <laughs> many, many, many years ago. Alright, now this game reminds me of a cross between Streets of Rage and Legend of Zelda. Now, I did try this game out for, like, 20 minutes before recording, just to try to, like, de-rust a little bit, because it's been a long time since i played this. So I still don't remember all the moves. I just kind of button mash. Pretty much the same thing I did as a kid. Because there's a bunch of different moves and combos you can do, but I don't even know if I can do them, or if I even know what they are. But the game, like, really, like jumps you right into the action here. And you're kind of fighting the boss right off the bat. This game doesn't hold your hand. Oh! Wow. You can see I'm a little rusty. Now, there was a big, uh, an even bigger cutscene, like at the, um, like when you start the game and don't press any buttons, at the beginning of the game, it, like, if you just kind of, like, like roll through, like, the demo mode, it will, uh, pretty much kind of give you, like, a backstory of this game, so I skip that right now, and I'm also not going to read the texts, I will keep them up long enough so that you guys can possibly read them if you care enough to, but I am, like, dyslexic and a horrible reader, so I'm not going to, like, embarrass myself. Alright, so we have to, uh, find the castle. Apparently I'm, I must be a prince, if my family, if my dad's the king. And, uh, let me just do this, uh, trick here. This is kind of a, a cheese move, I know. And yes, that is cheese. So, that was a pun there, I'm sorry. The backstory of this game, the simple version of the game, is this thing I'm wearing is a golden armlet, and I found it, and since I found it, all these bad guys have uh, started attacking places. I love that move. You like dash and then like you like do an uppercut and send him in the air. So yeah, this game kind of reminded me of like Streets of Rage in a way. With, with the different combos and stuff. You can like kick and stuff. I mean, this is just awesome. What I like is you can actually see the enemy's health bar too. So you're not just like beating up stuff and beating up stuff and wondering when they're gonna die. Of course, these guys die pretty quickly though. Checking my. Basically, this cheese will give me health if I need it. I know the castle's over this way. Like I said, I played this game right before I recorded just to kind of give myself a little bit of uh, practice because I haven't played this game in two decades. <laughs> Alright, 
if I can remember where to go here. Alright, that's more food that will recover my health and my mana bar once I uh, get the ability to use magic. And I picked up some weapons, but these weapons have a durability. That's what the, like, the sword says, sword 10. That 10 is like the durability. Same with the bow. So they have limited use, but my knife is unlimited. And I forget how to get this here. So I'm not even going to bother. And I'm going the wrong way. I'd go over this way. I'm sorry, but the only the only knock I have on this game really is just the way this dude walks. He just walks like a big douche. I, I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> he doesn't run any better either. So I have to go to the Water Shrine. That's like the first dungeon of the game. And for those of you who haven't um, seen this game before, you'll see what I mean by it looks like a Zelda game. It's kind of funny, like, I had my first playthrough right before I recorded. Um, I didn't have too much issue with these guys, but I had a heck of a time with the boss. So, I know ahead of time to, like, save up on food and stuff. Because I needed to use every piece of food I had to heal myself when I fought the boss. Hopefully, it'll go a little easier this time, now, now that I know how to beat them. But once you get, like, magic abilities and stuff, the game really opens up. Like, right now, it's pretty much just button mashing and and using my dagger here. But, um, you will see how, like, there's a lot more strategy and, and just different abilities and stuff you can do. But even, the, even this right now, this fighting, there's a lot more to it than what it appears to be. Because, like, I'm not doing all the moves properly. Like, there's, like, a, I think there's even, like, a spin move here. Yeah, right there, if I can do it, yeah. Just like a whole bunch of different moves. Let me get some more food. Oops. Okay, that should be enough. Plus, I'll, I'll be getting... Uh, I think this food only gives me uh, a quarter health back. And the fish gives me half. So, I think I'll, I'll find more food on the way, which will be even better than the cheese. So, I don't want to stock up on just the cheese. I love the kicking. That's just so awesome. And I believe the water shrine is down this way. And also... For those of you who aren't familiar with this game, you can there is like a level up system. You find it status. Uh, right now I'm rank one. Uh, sometimes the enemies drop hearts, and when they do, they'll increase your rank, and then they'll also increase your uh, 
HP. Just minimally. I think it's like just 2 HP per heart. And I think it's random when the hearts drop. I don't think it's like... Because here it shows you... Where is it? Here it shows you like how many kills you have. I don't think it's like after like 50 kills it drops a heart. I think it's random, but I'm not 100% sure. Can I hit you? These guys are so cute, I almost keep kicking their butts. me SP is like your mana so that, that'll give me uh, three quarters mana recovery oh I didn't show I didn't show you guys this you can like duck and stuff too and then hit like that um which is which is good because there's some enemies that are easier to hit when you duck like this but pretty much any enemy you can, like, walk up on and just start, like, kicking them instantly. Which is just totally badass, I think. I'm not gonna pick that up, because that only recovers your magic, and I want to save all the space I can for, like, food items. Since I don't have any, um, magic abilities right now, anyway. I'll get the magic ability after I beat this boss to this dungeon. Well, this isn't the boss, but I think he has a key to this door. Or maybe it's... No, oh, the door was unlocked. Okay. So, yep, there's a key in a chest. Kind of like Zelda. <laughs> the levels sort of look like... Link to the Past a little bit, too. That was more food. I totally love those like combos you can do. It just makes the combat so satisfying. There's a big guy. Oh, I better get that. That's like three quarters health, I believe. No, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. Oh, I didn't get it. He dropped the key. These guys are annoying. Oh, look at that fish. It's also health, which actually I can use. Because my health is half gone, and fish conveniently recover half, half health. So, there we go. I'll get another sword, which I'll need for the boss. There's slimes. And this is the guy with the key. Yep. Oh, crap, I forgot about this. Alright, I gotta try my uh, platforming skills here. Time adjust right. Ooh, that was close. Got in there just in time. All right. And here's the boss. All right. Let me switch to a sword. And then I'm pretty sure there's like a pattern to this, but I'm just gonna button mash because I can, <laughs> pretty much. And I'm almost dead, wow. You have to be completely still for the uh, game to let you go into the menu like that. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, I was trying, like... I was trying different things, but this boss tried to figure out its pattern so that... Um, it didn't look like I was just button mashing to kill it, but it seemed like the best strategy is button mash, just to, like, get on on it. And, like, just button mash. But I have a feeling he's just gonna beat me. I forget... When I originally beat him, my first playthrough here, I just got it on him like that and just like hit him and pretty much took him out that way. But now he's he's not letting me do it, which is a little concerning because now I'm afraid I might not be able to beat him. Ah, oh, there he is. I don't know what I was doing. I think I think be directly in front of him. If I'm not, then I think he kind of moves. Paul will grab me if I get too close to it, so I'm a little, I was a little scared of that. playing this boss the way you should. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm making this a lot harder than it needs to be, but it's the only way I know how to beat him. There we go. Piece of cake. Get my reward. Show me your light ball. Alright, that, this is that thing. Alright, because so I have the power to use water now. I'll demonstrate this ability before I uh, end this video. Let me kill this guy, though. Alright, when, when this um, fairy is summoned, my uh, magic meter goes down, so you can unsummon her. But before I do that, I'm going to show you some of her abilities. Um, first off, if I just tap the uh, A button, it just she just shoots like a little ball of water, which I guess just stuns the enemies and extinguishes fires and like obstacles in your way and stuff that are fire based. Alright. Actually, you know what? Let me find some guys and I'll show you the next ability. Now if I hold the um the A button, she'll like turn into a tornado. And then like randomly go around and just like beat up on stuff. But it's pretty random, it seems, so it's not really a reliable attack, from what I can tell. And then, also, if I just, like, quickly double tap, she heals me. So right now, what I have to do is go back to the castle and talk to my daddy, and then head to the next room. But that will possibly be in another video. If you guys like this one. Yeah, if you don't like this video, um, I'm sorry. Um, but if you like this video, please like it, subscribe, and maybe you'll see more of this game in the future, and I'll continue the quest, possibly. But uh, anyway, thank you, and take care. See you next time.